Good morning. I'm Peter Melios from the Finance News Network. Stocks retreated on Wednesday after the Federal Reserve said it would leave interest rates unchanged but indicated another hike on the horizon. Overall, the S&P 500 dropped 0.94%, the Nasdaq Composite slid 1.53%, weighed on by a drop of more than 2% in Microsoft and roughly 3% declines in NVIDIA and Google Parent Alphabet. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 0.22%. Shares of newly public Instacart and Arm Holdings were under pressure on Wednesday, with both stocks trading near their IPO price. Shares of Instacart dropped more than 10% and briefly broke below the company's $30 per share IPO price. Arm Holdings fell more than 3% to about $53 per share. The chip stock's IPO came in at $51 per share. The three major averages closed at session lows. The Fed held rates steady as was widely anticipated. But the central bank indicated that one more rate hike is expected before the end of the year in its economic projections. The central bank signaled it would end its hiking campaign after that increase and begin cutting rates next year, though keeping rates at a higher level for the year then signaled in June. The markets gyrated as traders listened to Fed Chair Jerome Powell give his outlook for rates. Powell said that the central bank would proceed carefully in raising rates further, but the Fed chief also noted there is more work to do in the fight against inflation. Powell also commented that a soft landing for the economy was still possible and his primary objective, but not his baseline scenario. The three major indexes slid while Powell spoke and continued to tumble in the final hour of trading. Investors have been buying up tech shares and other growth stocks this year on the hope that the Federal Reserve would already be done tightening policy at this point. The US two-year Treasury yield jumped to its highest level since July 2006, while the 10-year Treasury yield reached a high not seen since November 2007. Those moves raised concerns about the impact of higher rates and likely put pressure on tech stocks. In its morning note, NAB invoked Britney Spears' hit Baby One More Time to the extent that the above represents the hawkish pause that the most expected, indeed arguably a little more hawkish than many thought likely. Fed Chair Powell didn't exactly twist the hawkish knife in his post-meeting press conference. Turning to US sectors now, mostly closed lower. Consumer staples was the best performer, whilst communication services was the worst. In commodity-related news, Indonesia's halt on new mining outputs quotas for 2023, exacerbated by delays and in investigation into illegal mining, is causing a surge in nickel ore prices and prompting some production facilities to suspend operations due to a shortage of nickel ore. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% fall. Thank you for listening.